clear right so you can this is the ground truth against which we validate the output of batch So according to this, bunch results will be very important. So yeah. Currently, what bunch did is it put all the Android support into one cluster. Yeah. So naturally, when you compare that clustering with this ground truth, it is not relevant. So that's why you see a poor, poor, no, poor output. Okay. And also, it misses the AT file chooser thing. It has only the reader. And uh, open office is okay. It's a singleton cluster. Uh, I think it also misses the often packages. Also. So there are quite a few problems with bunch of it. So that's why it's, it's having poor accuracy. Yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I uh, I'm going to do the bunch output dotty file to this CSV format mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. we add the orphan mm -hmm. modules into it mm -hmm. then we convert it to RSF format mm -hmm. okay I will do the process so it goes like this right from mm -hmm. the dotty to CSF CSV and then to RSF and then to module yes not directly from dotty to RSF mm -hmm. yes okay, okay. Uh, this is a uh, Python code Python dot to the CSV generator. This requires two arguments, the dot file and output. Yes. Output RSF file. So this is blocked. Okay. So it's just a common error. Okay. So the first one is output output. Yeah, that's right. Dot file. Yeah. And then we want the output. Uh, same name dot csv, right? Uh, MDG yes. and it's cool. Yes. Okay, so this is the clusters produced by bunch. bunch. You can see one is the cluster name, and sorry, the cluster label or the cluster name, and okay. then the content. Uh, there is no cluster name in CSV. What's the first thing before the comma? Uh, it's just a label. That's the clusters label, right? The first cluster okay. contains these. Uh, okay. Uh, so sorry. Cluster label is cluster mm -hmm. look the same, right? Sorry. And then, so so so, can you count the spaces here? Can you highlight the spaces and then do a count? The nine yeah, inches. that's that's what we expected, right? Mm -hmm. Out of eleven, two are missed, so nine should be there. Yes. So precisely nine spaces. Okay. And uh, now we will come add the orphan module and convert to RSF. That how do we do? In the CSV, you will put three comma the name of the you, you append the CSV yes. by one more row which denotes the R from the row, right? Mm. How do you bring in the R from the to this? Use another script and okay. add the... Whatever is there in the R file. No, I mean, I can, I first I convert this CSV to RSF actually and then I add the module, the R module to the RSF. Is you could have done it like this, right? You could have brought in the orphan modules to the CSV mm -hmm. and then just use the CSV to RSF directly. Yeah. But the uh, same. But it's the same. Uh, yeah, it's but uh, why I'm saying this is that we can easily compare uh, mm -hmm. visually. Okay. Like Because we have the ground group in the CSV format. It's not in the RSF format. Okay. Ground group. 
process. Okay. So manual driven is one of the process. But I think it's, it's, it's technically not different, so we can proceed. Okay. Okay. Uh, is that we use another Python, another Python code here called just cluster to RSF? Just, just ignore the name. <laughs> name is very. Okay. It's up. Cluster to RSV converter. Okay. So it's it's just This code will require three arguments. One um, input CSV file, and one output RSF, and the uh, author module list. So you can, you can extend this program by giving also the list of uh, not often but self contained modules. Yes. Okay. Actually, I, I think I can count those modules as often modules. Yeah. To give them in the often. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can make a different choice. Sure. Mm, okay. So we'll run the process yeah. here. Mm. Uh, the outputs. CSS, yeah. yeah. And the uh, outputs. MDGM score with weight RSV, right? Yes, with weight RSF and output slash offense. Right? Offense. Offense dot TXT. Offense dot TXT. Yes. Okay, that's done. Let me check the outputs. RSF. Now here is the RSF file. RSF format. RSF, RSF format is like this. First contain and then the cluster name and then the package name. Yeah. So the cluster zero is the I mean zero or one it doesn't make any difference. The yes. name can be anything. So what it says is that in the same cluster all the elements starting from the AT to Android support and then OS view app and then AT. How there is AT here? Sorry? AT. There are two AT files here, like line 1 and line 5. Usually it should be 1, right? How come you have two? AT times this one and this one. Oh, okay. It's two different, okay. two different okay. packages. So how many lines are there? Still we have only 10. ten yes. Ideally there should be 12. Yes, that two is missing. That's Still the missing. That's the problem. So this is the final output of your bunch so yes. there is no extension that you do to it any further yes. so this is where <coughs> your bunch output stands mm -hmm. and you have another rsf file which which is the ground truth yes. and then you compare them both and then get the accuracy by using module yes. can you just quickly show us that okay so we use the module the other tool to compare the similarity of this two uh, architecture So we use the module. I can no, you have. You need another answer. Oh yeah, got it. We because we have the ground truth, right? The GT from the G. The ground truth is a CSV file. We need to also need, need to convert it to RSF. This one I'm using the same script here. Yeah. This one, but only without the often argument. Yeah. It's optional. So all I need to do is um, I change the output output name to gt.rsf and also the input. Yes, yes inputs. Gt. output we have the ground truth also okay, yes. there are 12, 12 packages everything is the same thing okay yeah. okay so we compare with the gt everything is separate yeah okay.
now we can use the module to compare. I will show you the module. It's a third party code, so it's already downloaded. So we can assume that it's downloaded and installed. The class path is already there and everything. Yeah. So this is how we run. Okay. We give the first RSF, the second RSF, okay. and well, then minus FM, right? Yeah. We only concern about FM. F measure. Yeah. Because the module itself is measuring the distance of this um, uh, architectures. That means uh, how many moves you need to convert the first architecture to the second architecture. But we only consider the same yeah. So you sort of avoid that. We use Java. And uh, no, 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 no. It has to be the, the bunch one. Bunch one. The NGT one. Because, uh, Module comparison is not a symmetric uh, operation. You comparing A with B is not it's not the same uh, as B comparing. So with the a. module value of comparing A versus B is not the same as module value that you obtain by comparing B versus A. So it's not symmetric. Yes. So it doesn't uh, agree the commutativity. Yes. We need to set the ground truth as a standard. Yeah, you can read from that. It calculates the one-way module distance from A dot RSF to B dot RSF. So it's one way. Uh, yes. huh? Yeah, right. Yeah, one way. Okay. But that is another option to get the two way, right? Calculates the two way module distance. H module, one way module plus. I think F measure, you try both. Let's see what, what happens. Okay. We we'll use bomb. Ah, no, no. Oh, first you try the options, you reverse the options, like GTE and then maybe you just swap. Mm, so. so. okay. <laughs> I think so we, we, should, we should go in the first way, right? because we want the output of bunch to be in agreement with ground truth. Ground truth oh. need not be uh -huh. modified. At all, ground truth is ground truth. So this is not a module FM, this is a module. module. So you have to give my seven, seven moves. Oh, that's mm -hmm. perfect. <laughs> so I think uh, what you did in the initial thing is right. So, so what I would suggest is can you go to the outputs MDG with weight data set and edit it with the two two packages that have been left and just see if the first string accuracy improves. Definitely it should improve. It's improved. I think this is how it should be. Okay. okay. So that brings us to the end of the demo. Yes. And uh, last, I just use a bad script to automate all the process. Okay. So we need certain good documentation because. We already have this with us. I'm not sure whether if you leave, the, the documentation should be very much at the time. Others will be lost. Okay. There's so much of things going on here and there. You know, we messed up with some things. We, kept, we caught up with the things that we messed up earlier at a different point. So I suggest you better give us some good documentation so that we can follow. Sure. Okay, so you have any questions? Or 
ですね。